So in this video, we're going to be talking about what might have happened if Bunny never revealed she drank the potion. Welcome back to the What If series, which I'll continue until Inner City and other updates release. And don't worry, I'll be making more series and continuing the series even after it releases. So yeah, this series is fan fiction. So you can also get to participate. Comment your What If something something, and that's all you need to do. And I'll do the thank you. Now, lastly, please subscribe. You guys have been loving these videos, and a subscribe will be really supportive of you. So without any further ado, let's jump right into today's video. What if Bunny never revealed she drank the potion? The player and doggy are hiding in the forest. The player and doggy have been working for the solo company. Doggy is the player's best friend. He is his only company, and he means everything to him. But all of it was about to change. In the middle of the night, the player wakes up, and to his surprise, Doggy has been infected. The player was devastated, and decided it is better to escape the forest and finds a walkie-talkie. A voice came out of it, and it asked him to save a friend who had been trapped in the school. The player decides to help out and headed towards the school. The story continues to be the same until the metro map. So the original timeline, Bunny, before turning infected, that she revealed uh, that she drank the Mr. P, the potion which Mr. P made. But here, she decides not to tell that, but only says that she had been scratched by one of the infected back in the school or wherever she was infected, I guess. This causes the player not to hunt down Mr. P, since he doesn't know that he was the one who infected Bunny. The player takes the metro and leaves. On the other side, Zizi and Pony head to the carnival for supplies but do not find any. Since the player did not come to the carnival because he's not bothered about Mr. P, he realizes that he has to survive this alone. He decides to abandon the mission to find Georgie and just live life as a loner. Zizi and Pony later on find Georgie. Since the player is not with them, they have no need to track down Mr. P. They live normally and the story basically abandons chapter 11 and 12. So now, the story continues to be the same until the store map. Mimi is trying to get into contact with the other people with other people using the radio. But first, they hear noises and then it quiets down. They change channels again and then they hear another voice, which asks them to meet them at the old oak to trade supplies. The safe place group is now at the old oak. Without the player, Zizi and Pony encounter TSP. Willow, the leader of the gang, calls Pony out for abandoning the group and calls him a traitor. They take Zizi hostage and leave Pony alone. Determined to save Zizi, he follows them into the refinery and eventually realizes that Zizi has been infected. As he returns, he finds a diary. He reads through some of the pages and realizes that there is a cure being worked on up north. He finds a room with a radio and changes the channel. Again, he hears noises, but it quickly dies down. Suddenly, Mimi's voice was heard. Pony tells about the news and realizes that he has a letter to the members of the TSP group. He quickly flees from the place, but it was no use. Willow had followed Pony to the safe place and took the entire group hostage. During all of this, the player had found Mr. P in a rundown plant. He rescues Mr. P and proves that he's not a hallucination, that he is infected. Mr. P uh, saw symptoms, for, for people who don't know actually, Mr. P saw symptoms of like the infection in him, so. The whole point of him being an hallucination, or the thought of him being an hallucination, was just a theory by Mr. P. In reality, the player is immune to the infection, which was later revealed. Why am I giving a recap of this again? I don't know. Anyways, back to the story. Him and Mr. P grow, group up and survive. Mr. P kept adding weapons to himself for survival purposes, and it reached to a point where he has become a full on cyborg. The player had found a radio. And he managed to tap into a channel where he heard two different groups talking to me to the old oak. And, while, and a while later, he got the news that there were being a cure worked up in the north. Mr. P tells the player that it might be a good idea to go there and help with the cure. The player agrees. From here, they get on board a ship which Mr. P owns. There is no real evidence he owns a boat or ship. But come on, he's a millionaire. Of course he's going to have a boat. They reach the docks and find Tigri. He didn't seem to notice them, so they follow him. On the way, Mr. P had told that he was the one who gave the potion to Bunny, which infected her. The player hasn't said a word since. 
The story continues to be the same until the lap. Willow and Tigri are face to face against each other. The player and Mr. P emerge from behind a lab door. Oh, why didn't a special guest were invited? said Willow. And who might you be? asked Mr. P. Someone who admires your work, responded Willow. Oh, I see, said Mr. P. Well, too bad those mech parts aren't going to help you live any longer, said Willow. Oh, we'll see about that, said Mr. P. And choose his energy stun ball thing, Maji. I don't know what that is. Huh. Does anyone know what that is? Th that energy stun ball thingy he shoots? Let me know down in the comments. Willow dodges it and it explodes mid air. Tiger tries to capitalize on the opportunity to detonate the dynamite, but Mr. P shoots another thing at Tigri and paralyzes him. Willow lands punches after punches, but Mr. P's body was strong enough to resist them. And at last, Mr. P shoots the thing at Willow, paralyzing her as well. He turns around and sees Pony. Without hesitating, he shot him as well. He looks around for the player but couldn't find him. He felt something behind his back. The player had grabbed Willow's revolver and has held Mr. P at gunpoint. What are you doing? asked Mr. P. You took everyone away from me. And now it's my time for revenge, said the player. The player shot Mr. P in the back and collapses down to the pool. He looks at the player in disbelief. The player stares him down until Mr. P's eyes shut down. He runs to the back and finds the cure. He takes it and runs away from you. Hope you all enjoyed that video. And I know you guys are gonna scream at me. I haven't uploaded for two months, okay? I know I've been dying to post a video. This video, I haven't got a single chance to make this video. Like, I scripted this up in like an hour okay this is this is like the slowest script like the fastest script i've ever done and i hope you guys like this video um uh, uh thanks to the guy for this is idea i didn't really use the like the uh, idea he gave me but i just changed the title and the reasoning for how it happened and here we go so thank you for suggesting that and uh if you guys like the content I post, please subscribe. I barely throw analytics at you, but look at that, man. That hurts. Come on. Please. Show me some mercy. Come on, guys. Please. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm saying the same thing over and over because I don't know why. Well, anyways. Oh, and also. It's a post credit scene in this video, so. You might want to stick around. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. The player is now back in the forest. He looks around for a while and sees Doggy. Hey Doggy, you missed me?